I could install it right now, but I gotta wait. Okay, I waited an hour, but I'm gonna install it right now. I can't wait any longer. Now I just gotta wait for it to finish. Okay, it is finished finally. And right away, this pattern thing is new. This was not the design that it used to be. Okay, but I'm gonna have to wait until my work finishes for me to fiddle around with this even more. When iOS 7 came out from Apple, it was really cool because it was such a big visual redesign from iOS 6 and it just made the iPad that I was using feel so much faster and newer and smooth and it was just different. So this is why I always look forward to software updates like One UI 3 because it just makes the phone feel faster and like refreshed and new. It's also why I always change my wallpapers. So now that I have it, and I updated it, and I couldn't wait, let me show you. Hold on, one sec. Okay, check this out. This is the new home screen that I am greeted with right away. But I don't like the way this clock looks. So if I go into my lock screen settings, I click clock style. This whole thing was not there before. Like, it just looks so different. And if I press this, there are so many different clock styles to choose from. It's just... Like, look at all this. And not only that, you can create your own, and it's just, it's crazy. Okay, there are a lot of different changes you can see if you update it, but basically, there's a big visual redesign with the whole interface, ton of different small changes to everything. If you go up to the recent menu here, this feels more fluid and fast, the animations are smoother. If you look down here, the notification shade is different. There's a blur to it now, before it used to stop right here. There are lock screen widgets, so if you tap the clock over here, you can see these widgets over here and you can customize those. The camera is also much better apparently with improved autofocus and exposure. The gallery design has changed and I've also noticed the HDR is better for the camera which is always a good thing. They've also made it easier to paste copied images and verification codes from text messages. So I'm gonna see how that works. I haven't checked it out yet. The notifications have also changed with Android 11 in general. So your conversations will be grouped up at the top and everything else will be at the bottom. I mean, it's okay. I don't really care that much about that, but it's all right. Oh, another thing that they added, which I did, I don't know if they had it before, but basically you can ask a contact who's connected to a Wi-Fi network that you want to be connected to for the password. It's pretty cool. Let me show you. Check this out. Check this out. See, that's the other phone and then you just get connected. Hey, hold up, hold up, hold up. Look at this. I'm not pressing it. I can't. Okay, basically, I'll put a video up right now. But if you lower the volume, it looks just like an Apple device. <laughs> like, I just, I just thought that's funny. <laughs> and that's really all that I care about. There are some other features and stuff that have been added. I talked about them. If you want something in depth, like I said, just tell me in the comments below because there's plenty of videos already out there. But. Yeah, as far as the visual aspect of One UI 3, it looks and feels much better, in my opinion. So yeah, apart from the visual aspect, I do like how the camera is better, because the HDR in the past was okay, but right now, from the photos I've taken so far, it's looking much better. And yeah, I just really like the design, to be honest. It feels so much, like, faster, at least on my phone. And like much needed update sadly this is my second update so traditionally samsung would only give you two software updates per device like generation updates like i'm talking android updates you you'll get like normal security patch updates but like big updates like this they would only give you two 
now they give you three so i only have one more to go but it's it's okay i mean what can we do you know but it's nice i like it speaking of which samsung has been getting better with software updates but the reason this video is late because the software updates for the s10 series for one ui3 got pulled back because there was like a bug or something and then they re-released it it's okay because in a year samsung does release a lot of different phones that they gotta keep track of but yeah my final thoughts on one ui3 are that i just really like this refresh design it feels much more fast and fluid the little features that have been added like you know the widgets and the clock customization and whatnot and all the other stuff that didn't go through that's all cool they say they've also done some performance differences to make it faster to make apps run better to make the camera better so if that's true then then that's great that's always great okay yeah it's a great software update i like it okay tell me what you think about this video in the comments below remember to live with kindness and i will see you in the next one peace